Welcome to Daily Success, where each day we discuss ideas, insights, and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself and to not only survive but thrive in the modern world. Hello, everyone. This is Parth, and welcome to the Wisdom Wednesday episode, where we dedicate a few moments towards learning new insights, ideas, and key life lessons. that help us develop our character and cultivate essential virtues to navigate the modern world and live an exceptional life you could live life right now let that determine what you do and say and think marcus aurelius meditations 2.11 things were quite different in ancient times as compared to the contemporary world infant mortality rates were high and the average life expectancy was quite low that's why when marcus writes about the certainty of death and how soon it might come he's not just being philosophical for no reason he's in fact being practical he writes that there's no point in us being afraid of death since all beings living or dead are still part of logos dying is simply our soul a part of logos leaving a human body that began dying the instant it was born and when a person dies even though their body perishes they once again become part of the greater logos once united their essence is then reused to form new living beings who continue this endless cycle this beautifully aligns with the hindu concept of reincarnation according to which all living things have an atman which is a piece of brahman or a spirit or soul once a living being dies it is the atman that is reborn or reincarnated into a different body depending on its karma from its previous life along with that it's the logos that determines the timing of death and it comes when it needs to logos has a greater plan and it's best to not fear any of the countless things that could kill you marcus knew that whether he was destined to die due to an illness or on the battlefield fighting with the enemy there would be absolutely nothing he could do about either fate hence it would be useless to fear and worry about something so inevitable in fact we can use death as a motivator to be good and do good since we never truly know how much time we have left to live we can employ our precious resources for the common good this is why to stay inspired and virtuous we must reflect regularly on the fact that we will die these reflections and contemplations can help us learn some deep and life-changing lessons hence instead of avoiding it it's wise to confront it no matter how unpleasant it may be to think about we must understand that everyone dies sooner or later and even the best people out there perish in the end at times when marcus felt overwhelmed by death for instance When he lost his wife Faustina, he reminded himself of this truth. As difficult as it may be, it's wise to think of all the people that have come before us, what is left of them now, and what will be left of us later on. Here's the thing: we all reach the same destination in the end. So whether you are a noble emperor, a philosopher like Plato, or a fearless gladiator, whether you are Alexander the Great or his mule driver, you must embrace your mortality and refrain from living in fear of it i'm so happy and grateful to share with you that my new class snapshot meditations by marcus aurelius is available right now exclusively on skillshare if you enjoy stoicism and philosophy i'm sure you'll love it also i'm releasing a limited edition ebook based on the main ideas and my key takeaways from meditations you can find links to both the class as well as the ebook in the show notes i hope you'll check them out i hope today's episode added incredible value to you for more helpful resources on personal development philosophy and holistic success come visit my website parthsahani.com I wish you an amazing day.